Ace Podcast. This is the Super Co-op Squad Video Game Podcast, Episode 74. On today's show, we got a few things to talk about. Gaming compilations. Are they good? Are they bad? And who are they for? We got games, games, and more games. We're going to be discussing what's coming ahead in April 2018. And VR, one year later. Where are we at with that? And don't forget, we got the cool stuff in gamer trivia, fan faves, and name the game. Welcome back, guys, to another episode 74 of the Super Co-op Squad video game podcast. I am uh, I'm your host. Been doing this 74 plus times now. Tell me that. I don't know. There's more. Yeah, there's a lot. Uh, Johnny Mac, I'm here with uh, the the ever gaming still on Sea of Thieves currently, apparently right now. <laughs> I am not, <laughs> even though your Xbox says I am. <laughs> Garrett Laney. Hello. Yep. And Joshua Gerard with the flawless opening. One take, one take Gerard over here. I hosted the show once. <laughs> You did actually do a host right, one for take, one, one show. take that we're, we're keeping, right? The, the one take that we're keeping. Garrett, <laughs> they don't okay. need to know. We are keeping that one take, yes. As we did not do any others this time. Um, so, guys, we are the Super Co-op Squad. We love games, movies, comics, everything nerdy, everything pop culture-y. We talk about mostly games. We get into the, the biggest topics, the biggest features, the biggest opinions, and just discuss them. Have a lot of fun together, guys. Um, but before we do get into our topic, this is going to be uh, your spoiler alert with our terrible spoiler of the week. Oh, man. You know that Cruella de Vil? She does not get all them puppies. No, she doesn't. But she, uh, she, I'm sorry. Uh, a lot of other animals do indeed die. Yes, they do. But she doesn't get that Dalmatian coat she wanted. Oh, but mm-hmm. she does have that nice coat. Like I'm not going to take that away from her. It, it costs some animal lives. But the coat, guys, ladies, gentlemen, lady, the coat is nice. Girl is styling, <laughs> man. She's styling. And she's got one of the longest cars I've ever seen in life. <laughs> An 18-foot car. All right, guys, let's uh, let's get into this. But before we get into this, actually, go ahead and make sure you check our show notes. You'll be able to click on those in the summary or details of where you're listening. Uh, click that link. It'll take you right to what we're discussing. You'll have links for everything we're discussing, pictures, and just generally give you a, a good through line for our, for our content today. All right. First topic, gaming compilations. Are they good? Are they bad? Are they ugly? Nah, are, who are they for? So uh, gaming compilations have the been... ugly. Yeah, right? They, sometimes they can be ugly. Um, but compilations have been happening more and more. Um, we're getting them just a lot more frequently. Every year sees, sees more pop up. Uh, the latest one we've got is the Sega Genesis Collection, which is going to be on Xbox One and PS4. It's going to have about 50 of the Genesis, uh, Sega Genesis, most Sega Genesis's. That's a weird thing to say. Genesis. Gen- gen- no, maybe not. That's kind of close to... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's something yeah, D&D related. We're going to get sued. Um, anyway, Sega's having a collection of their biggest 50 games from the Genesis era days. Um, but we've seen a lot of other things. Naruto, Ultimate Ninja Collection, the Bioshock Gaming Collection, Halo Collections, DBZ, Budokai Collection, Kingdom Hearts. 1.5, 2.5. Right, God of War. The list continues. Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper. It just it just happens. Devil May Cry just yeah, came out all the time now in gaming. Um, and so what what do you guys think about this this trend that's just getting bigger and bigger? Uh, I like it. Uh, it. It gives a chance to to kind of revisit a past experience that you had. Maybe uh, gives them a nice clean look, nice and shiny. Uh, plenty of times, John, you've mentioned it before. I, I guess I'm the kind of, uh, pastime gamer. You know, I'll, I'll often play, uh, remakes or HD collections that are coming out again. I just beat Okami on the Xbox One. I will be buying it again on the Switch when it comes out. Um, that, that seems to be what I do. And, and actually, I like that. Yeah, you're definitely their demographic. When they're, <laughs> when they're in board meetings, they have a big old fat picture of Garrett's face slapped on the wall. Like, how do, we get, him- into- <laughs> how do we get this guy to buy our game again? Uh, put right a commie al- in it. Right? <laughs> right. Right along those lines, I think it's, besides that, it's more of a easier cash grab, I guess you can say. Uh, but it's not just for that. It's one way to introduce a particular game to an audience that has not seen or played it before. It's also a way to reintroduce that type of gamer franchise on a new console. Like, for example, uh, we all know there's a new Borderlands coming out, right? Do we? Do we know this? I mean, we're told it, whether it's coming out or not, is, you know, yet to be seen. But then you go ahead and slap a Borderlands collection on, you know, the next system or the newest system. You're like, hey, you get a recap on these games we've had before, before we decide to launch our new game. Yeah, I I can see it to kind of like... Uh, self promote or promote for the next upcoming thing. Yeah, that, you don't see it as often because usually that game is already about to come out. But you do have them in uh, in the fold sometime. Yeah, 
I I'm of mixed feelings with this. I, I feel there are two ways to go about it, and there are good ways, and there there's a, there's a good way, there's a bad way. The bad way, in my opinion, is what Kingdom Hearts does, where they keep making it over and over again, or in my opinion, just just my humble opinion, the way Sony kind of handles The Last of Us and God of War, where they've made, you know, like The Last of Us has only been out like five or six years, and they've already like ported it over to a new console. Like they just, they continue to just put out new additions. God of War has multiple uh, collections. That's a problem for me. When a, when a franchise is having more than one compilation released in uh, like a five-year period. Uh, so so specifically, you're saying compilations multiple times, like on well, multiple generations? The, the two bad things, I guess, that, that are that are the one bad thing is, multiple compilations within a very short amount of time like less than five years between compilations or you know continuous ports or if the game is just not had have, have, is not out more than eight nine years okay that's that's the bad way in my opinion well the the no. good way the good way is and, and just from again my humble opinion is for legacy content so super nintendo games sega genesis games games that have been out 20 years, 15 years, and you... The golden age of gaming. (laughs) You don't have those consoles anymore. Or maybe there's a whole generation of gamers who weren't alive when the console existed, so they just just could not have one because... They, 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 they weren't even a thought. It was past, it's past them. You know, they, they passed it. Um, those are the compilations I think that are good. Mega Man collections, because those games are for now available for people who didn't experience them. Everybody who wants to experience Kingdom Hearts is, they, they can, they're alive right now. They're still gaming. Everyone that wants to play The Last of Us, it came out five years ago. Like, they they don't need another compilation. Like, it's fine. Well, I would argue against that because, if you take the game like, let's take Last of Us and even God of War. God of War had a trilogy happen twice, or they had God of War 1 and 2 released twice, essentially. You have that game that was released on a generation, and then a PS4 came out. Most people are probably not going to buy a PS4. I'm sorry. They're not going to buy a PS3 if they've never had one. And, you know, they're going to buy a PS4 instead. So they're going to miss all those games that happen on the older console. And in the case like the Mega Man collection, the Mega Man collection has probably been released more times than God of War and Uncharted. It was, you know, it came out on the Super Nintendo. They re-released it on the GameCube. They released it on the PS2. It was on all the shop channels for the, for the Wii and some of the digital stuff for PS3 and PS4. And then they, they're re-releasing it on disc format on the PS4 and the Switch. So they've had many, many iterations for, you know, a legacy game and older game so you i see where you're going but you're trying to have your cake and eat it too no i think i just didn't know that mega man had been released that many times it, in it's which been released multiple in, times, in which yeah. case and my mega man is no longer a good example <laughs> well but, it, it still can be for those people that missed it when it originally came out or even after well not if you're releasing it over and over and to answer your question about god of war that's garbage. So if 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 Sony is saying, well, we want to make sure everyone has the opportunity to play this game on all on all consoles, because if if we release it on PS3, but anyone on PS4, they're not gonna keep their PS3 to play it. Then just make your console. If you really care that much about people being able to play the game, make it backwards compatible. If you're if you're if the if the argument is that they they care about us being able to access it, that's the that's the simple solution. But then you could just make more money just re-releasing it. Right, and that's my point. They don't care about you as a gamer. They care about making money. I, I, I see what you're saying, and that and that means that is probably just the cash grab, just trying to, to make the extra money. Uh, one slight thing, I don't think God of War 1 or 2 is available on the PS4, because personally I've been waiting for it, because I've been wanting to play it. So if they do do a re-release or a port or a collection, <laughs> I will be If that is incorrect, that. that is my bad, my bad. Uh, but they do have the, the God of War 3 through PlayStation Now, um, not God of War three did get really re released on PS4 though. Okay, then maybe, I know that maybe I'm thinking sure. the other way around. But uh, my point being that is uh, it, it's been released on multiple systems as well. Well, PS2, PS3, questionably PS4 for God of War one and two. If they were to remake it, give it pretty graphics, give you some trophies, um, I'm I'm down for it. Like that, I think is a good thing. A lot of people either missed out on it. Or just want to re-experience it again. But kind of, it, having that achievement or having it make, make it look better, that kind of gives it a fresh new look, a fresh new taste. And you can kind of experience the game again in a different way. Okay, okay. So at what point, if there is a point, is it too much? At what point do does a game come out and it's it's now too early for them to remaster it or or package it and redo it for the next the next console cycle. I don't think there's an actual line. Uh, let's look at Nintendo and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This Smash possibly 4.5. Like Smash was released 4 4 years ago. It came out 2014. 2014. Okay, 4 years ago. Uh so 
bringing that to the switch is that a good thing or a bad thing? Do you think that's too much time? Because you just said Last of Us in the five year span, that's too soon, right? Um, in in that case with Mario Kart Eight Deluxe, that is almost a whole new game. They they added and packed in so much additional content that it's not. It was it was almost like they they did port it. But they added a whole expansion. I think and they just gave you the DLC and maybe some new racers. Right, but that DLC is not available on on the the, the Wii U version. I believe the DLC is available. Mm-mm. The like getting Link and the Inklings. There, there's some of it that is available on the Wii U, but there's a good portion of it that's only on the deluxe okay. version for for uh, for Switch. So things like that, like that's it's gray area, but I can deal with that because you added something to it. So, okay, so then if they do port the game but add a character or two, is that worth it? Yeah, see, but Deluxe wasn't just a character or two. It was a chunk, a meaty chunk of content. Well, I think it's just using that as an ex- a broad example. Yeah, I mean, it would have to... They'd Adding have to, some extra stuff. They'd have to justify it with some actual, like, stuff. Like, a couple of skins isn't going to cut it for me. But, like, you know, enough to say, like, this is a full-on expansion, you know, worth the stuff. I can I can get down with that. So Okay. So what about you? Is there a line? Is there a point where you can't – because you're saying there's no line. Like I don't, I don't think there's a line. I think it's catered to you as the individual and you as the gamer to, to what you want to buy. Okay. So uh, I had an example, and it literally just escaped me. But bringing up Last of Us, for example, I didn't play it on PS3, but I saw it on PS3 re-releasing on a PS4 was a pretty nice graphical upgrade in how the game looked. And they added a multiplayer mode, complete multiplayer mode to that. I don't recall that being on the PS3 version. Mm -hmm. And then you have like your, your game of the year edition. They added the um, left behind DLC, which was included in the price point versus before you had to pay an extra 15 bucks for it. So I think you got to take it per game. Like devil may cry. We haven't had a, HD collection for that in quite some time. So, like, that's an acceptable version of it. Was it was on the 360 and the PS3. Plus, plus we also are, I, and I now realize we're getting us a little off the topic where we're talking now about ports. And I'm, we're supposed to be talking about, like, just general <laughs> compilations. Uh-huh. You know, five, ten, three, three games mixed in. Gotcha, so, let gotcha. me, let me, let's just get back on top, topic with this question. Does that devalue the game? So, if you have, for instance, Devil May Cry or God of War three or five games in, in one box or the Assassin's Creed, the America's collection, three games in one box. Does that devalue the, the original game? I don't think so. I think it actually gives value because you're actually getting multiple games for either, you know, the same price of one game or something else. I think it, in a case, it may only devalue it if you bought like two or three or four games. And then like a couple years later, they're like, Hey, we're going to give you all these games for a discounted price. If you had done that, you probably wouldn't have spent money on it. I definitely disagree. I think it definitely does devalue the game. Um, because let's say you, you buy that pack three games for 50 bucks or let's just say it is 60 bucks for three games. So 20 bucks a pop if you break it down, right? But if you go to the store on Microsoft to, or Sony to buy those said games, they probably won't be 20 bucks. So, you know, now you're looking at the fact that they have valued the game higher than what it should be because if you bought in the collection, it's, it's cheaper. Or, or like, for instance, um, like Mario, Super Mario, like you can, you can buy Mario on, uh, like the original Mario Brothers game for like a couple bucks, right? If you bought the Nintendo version. I think like 400 Wii points. <laughs> right. But if you, but if you buy it on one of like, you know, the, the, the Wii U or something, I don't think it's available on the Switch. It's probably going to be like $10. Right. Like now imagine if it was only a buck, like how much value would it be compared to what it was before? Like they, they've kept the value high on their games because they never release compilations for them. Like the Mario and like their, their, their core yeah. games. You yeah. Know? I see. Uh, let's see. I'm not, I'm not sure what to, what to think because you, you would have to actually go and look at the individual games to see if they've, um, to see what they're priced at. Cause, uh, let's see. Devil May Cry, the a- HD collection, uh, has, was just released on, uh, PS4 and, and Xbox One. And I believe it's 30 30 bucks, twenty nine ninety nine. That makes Devil May Cry one, two, and three ten bucks a pop, which you cannot buy separately for those systems. Right. So in, in that case, I think the value is there. You get you get games that you can't experience individually. You get them all under one pack, one place to go. Okay, cool. Um, and then last thing before we move on here, you know, there's a lot of these coming out, but in general, I mean, how many of these are you buying? Like, are we are you guys adding these? Are these gems you need to add to your 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 stack of games, or are these just you know pretty much old school shuffleware at this point? Uh, I for me personally, I want them I, I don't know if necessarily I'll, I'll buy them maybe i'll wait for a sale depending on the game or or the the compilation but for a, a lot of times i like to just be able to access maybe a, a franchise in one place yeah fair enough i'm on the right now i'm on the back end of the video game shelf because i just haven't 
been putting a lot of time into gaming. That's what happens when you're being an adult. But if I had more time to play, I would li- I actually like a lot of these collections. I don't really buy them myself. Like if I was really into Street Fighter right now, I would have bought the anniversary collection and all the games that came out of that and all the games that I haven't played. Like I didn't play the Alpha series when it was at its peak. I missed Third Strike when it was at its peak. So I, I definitely enjoy them and they're there for people that, that want them. I mean, I don't think they would re-release them if they didn't think people were going to just ignore them. Well, I mean, yeah, they're, they're going to try and make money off of it. Um, I, I don't, I don't like the trend that off that much. I mean, if it just, it just really depends on how old the, the compilation of games is, how many games it, it happens to have in it. It's the filler version. So it's a big stickler for me. So I'm, I'm a little, little on, not on the fence with the, with, a little on the fence, I suppose, with these. Just not, real quick, just, sure. I want to know your opinion, Johnny, since you're probably the most ag- against, uh, uh, these collections. How would you feel about a Mass Effect collection? One, two, and three. I've been waiting for that. Not to steal away your thunder. I, I think they've already had that, but I I don't. On the Xbox One? PS3. Uh, next gen. It, I think it was on PS3 only. Yeah. I want a next gen version. I, I, I don't need it. Okay. It's too, for me, it's too soon. I don't know. Really? But then again, I, don't, I don't go back and play a lot of games too much, you know? Okay. That's another whole aspect He's of like, it, I suppose. I would just get Game Pass. Y- yeah. I mean, also the length of these games. Like, I can get a compilation of, you know, Super Nintendo games. So I can burn through one of them and... 18 minutes but like getting a compilation of games that take 78 hours each like it's a little rougher for me <laughs> but, all right guys well that is uh our thoughts and opinions on uh gaming compilations uh give us your ideas your thoughts uh do you buy those things do you not um are there specific ones as a matter by franchise uh we'd love to know your thoughts and opinions guys so reach us uh, on twitter at super co-op squad or hit us up by email contact at scspodcast.net let us know what you think all right, fan favorites. Every week we pick five rapid fire questions and each of us answers to find out where we stand opposed and united in, in our fandom. So play along, uh, find out just what are your fan favorites and uh, you can do that now. Click the link. It's going to be a link right at the tip top of the summary and the details of the episode. Uh, wherever you're listening, uh, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, uh, any any podcast app, any podcast catcher, click that link in the summary and you'll click uh, you'll find the uh, the the poll uh five quick questions multiple choice click it your info's added and uh, we will talk about it at the end as we're going to do for every uh fan favorites joshua that's me it was uh it was your week man yep i had all the homework i got a sneak peek of this fan faves and you are a jerk sir well, I'm a jerk. This you're is like jerk. probably the best one I've done. It's and it's a good one, which is why you're you, a jerk. You saw the whole thing? Not the whole thing. I just oh, saw all the right, first. Let's go. <laughs> so so Calvin, who's a big uh, follower for us, and especially on our on our Facebook page, he shout out to Calvin. He <laughs> he's always making comments about what you do or don't have in your country. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's great. He was upset that I didn't make more choices, and this is probably one that I should have just went back to ten just for as like a special episode. But back in the day, we were big into anime. A lot of us are probably big into anime cartoons anything in between still am yep it was almost a guarantee you would go home from school first thing you would do is put your backpack on the floor maybe grab a snack and turn on the television to watch your favorite cartoons uh would you would you agree uh cartoon network was home of the best cartoon and anime shows of a generation i would agree though yes you would agree with that yes uh but you can never forget the name that made anime and other amazing shows popular and that is toonami who toonami I, actually, this is actually true. I literally did not have Toonami like in my country. <sighs> oh, okay, well, that's right. <laughs> so, so we're gonna keep going. So, if you had to pick more, one, so my home, my okay. home, that's more accurate. Okay. So, out of this uh, fan faves, uh, if you had to pick one show to watch, choose the one that you would rather watch. So, this segment is called Toonami Forever. All right. All right. You I ready? think I think this is probably gonna be the one where we we no, all. No, you don't. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wow, I'm cheating. sorry, cheating. I'm sorry. Go. None of that, none of that. All right, first one, Justice Leagues, Justice Leagues, Multiple. Justice League or Teen Titans? Justice League. Justice League. Justice League. Inuyasha or Yu Yu Hakusho? Inuyasha. Inuyasha. Yu Yu Hakusho. Mm-hmm. I did it. Samurai Jack or Ruroni Kenshin? Jack. Ruroni. Ruroni Kenshin. Voltron or Gundam Wing? Voltron. Voltron. Gundam Wing. And the last one, Thundercats or Ronin Warriors? Thundercats. Thundercats. Ronin Warriors. You messed it up. You did. You, you dropped the ball. All right. <laughs> and how did I drop the ball? Let's break say it down. Thundercats and we go, ho! Yeah, I do it. <laughs> All right, first one. Uh, Teen Titans or Justice League? Or Justice League or Teen Titans, you mean? Okay, Justice League or Teen Titans. Yeah, League. that's the way you gave it to us, so. Okay. It doesn't really matter. It matters. It matters. Put in the same order. Uh, Justice League was just 
I think, more influential and it had a lasting impact going forward for like everything we experienced all the way back from Batman animated series to Batman Beyond, which all tied to Justice League, which also tied to Justice League Unlimited. Like that's a huge oh, train and, and, and which also uh, switched over to Static Shock, which mm-hmm. which tied over into um, the Zeta Project. Yeah, the Zeta Project. <laughs> like like that's a core of just shows that all stem from the minds it's of all, like that, ten people. It's all multiverse. It's, it's, exactly. It's a cinematic universe right there. That that had its its hands on a lot of stuff. It's it, it Some, stretched. Somewhere Bruce Tim's like all these problems with the DEC you could have been fixed had you come to me. That's, that's not including all the uh, the DC animated films as well. A, a good portion of them, yeah. But Teen Titans is still really good, of course. I, but I, it doesn't hold a candle to Justice no. League. It, it doesn't. And I think I think Teen Titans it, they had some issues with story. It never really got too in depth. They were all very separated. And Justice League had a pretty good continuity. And for a kid, that, that that's not something you get in a lot of shows back then. Yeah, uh, Teen Titans did kind of seem there. There were core elements that that went from one episode to another, so that there was an over arcing story um you know raven uh and and her dad trigon and and slade and dealing with that but a lot of the episodes kind of seem kind of disconnected from another one one episode you have mad mod another episode you're dealing with the i forget that that brain thing that guy in the brain yeah. um you got the bug dude the, like the bug the man. bug dude with the bug man yeah yeah spider, too. spider jetpack bug <laughs> so it, it wasn't really all connected and that I mean as far as teen titans can stretch into another cinematic universe we got teen titans go yeah. yeah, I don't know about that. I remember, uh, last thing, I remember watching the first episode of Justice League. I remember us getting excited because, like, hey, the Justice League is coming back. Cause we, you know, I grew up with, you know, Super Friends and all, you know, Superman. Uh, you didn't adventures. grow up with no Super Friends. Get out of here. You may have watched it, but <laughs> I, it, it was in like, late I grew 70s. up with it already being on the air. So. You, you grew up with the reruns. I grew up sure. with I Love as Lucy. Did, as did I. <laughs> I did, I did. No, you didn't. You grew up with the reruns. We all did for those shows. So we just X, X, nay, reruns, and I grew up with the show. <laughs> all right. What's the map say? Uh, the poll says uh, 53.8% for the Justice League. Nice. So 46.2% for Teen Titans. Close Pretty one. close. Yep. Uh, number two. Inuyasha. Inuyasha. Yushu. Yushu. Yu Yu Hakusho. I didn't care for Yu Yu. Neither it. did I. Spirit yeah. Guns and Kumarabi with his flaming sword. Yeah. I, I, I didn't care for the show. No, uh, that's, that's actually not a good mark for Inuyasha because I didn't care for that show quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, you are not a fan of Inuyasha. No. I, I've, I've seen it. My brother actually is, liked, likes both of these, but Inuyasha just didn't catch me at all. I, I liked it a lot. I ended up buying the entire like DVD collection e- each season. I still have them. You, just... mem- you remember when DVD box sets of like anime were like up? It cost a fortune. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They still kind of do. Just they cost a fortune online now. It's like sixty dollars a box. If you want the Blu-ray, and a box that was one season. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> which was like thirteen episodes. But uh, yeah, Inuyasha was that. That was my jam. Yeah. Tetsaiga and the Tensega and. Sh- Shishomaru. Yeah. Gazuntai. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Inuyasha, Kagome! Inuyasha won that one 61.5% to Yu Yu Hakushu's 38.5%. Siri Gun. Okay. Next up, uh, Samurai Jack or Rurouni Kenshin. This was actually a difficult one for me, but I chose Samurai Jack only because there's a lot less filler. Kenshin has a lot of filler, man. It's anime. Yeah. Well, okay, not every anime though has to be that way. Or One is piece that is way. what eight hundred episodes? Yeah, but how much of that? There's got to be some filler. How much of that filler? I have no idea. I haven't watched. Episode Am I going to be able to say something, or are we going to have to do a shouting match again? All right, so I'll keep um, real. <laughs> yes, there is a lot of filler in One Piece. I didn't use that as my example. You just decided to try and make I, me I use that. It, yeah, yeah, but. Like Full Metal Alchemist is an example of doesn't have a lot of that. Like there's there are shows that don't, and Kenshin just has too much, especially for the fact that it doesn't age very well. well the difference there is that uh, Full Metal Alchemist is twenty five episodes or so, more than that, uh, probably twenty. But uh, Inuyasha is it's more. is it's more. It's sorry, a not Roroni Kenshin is up to like eighty, ninety, or something like that. Yeah, full, no, full metal is it's up a lot in like more. the seventies. Yeah, it mm, is really. Yeah, I, I, I will have to fact check that. I don't believe that. Okay, well, why are, are we counting that? Brotherhood? Uh, they're two different shows. I All mean, right. they're they're along similar lines, but they essentially like redid the story. Uh, I didn't really watch uh, Samurai Jack at all. I, so I, my I, brother I, did. I'm not a huge Sam fan, Sam Jack fan, but uh, that, did they... hold on, that's the wrong. That makes it seem like it's the wrong person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but but it, it just it just okay, seems fifty one episodes. That's, that's a good amount, bro. Uh, it, okay, all right. 
So wow, we actually 70. got Garrett to like redact so, a statement. Uh, it's not that hard. I'm proven wrong. Except that was a mi- that was a middle finger. BB8. That was a middle finger. Jay J- J- Abrams. Mobile games are games, Garrett. I prove you wrong all the time. Um, Samurai Jack never really caught me. Um, I watched a couple episodes here or there. I thought Aku was really cool, actually. Um, but yeah, Samurai at the time, all nice and all, but Rurouni Kenshin is better. That it is. The movies are pretty good. Yeah, I, I think I think um, if Rurouni Kenshin held up better, like Dragon Ball does with its fight sequences and stuff, but it just it just doesn't. Like it just is not like I I don't watch it and go man like that fight was cool. Yeah. Like I could watch old Naruto from. 18 years ago, like back with the tuning exams, that those fights are still beast. Yep. That's the only problem I had. Um, so anyway, uh, Samurai Jack, uh, he took that one 53.8% to 46.2%. Um, that he did. Yep. Uh, Voltron or Gundam Wing was the next one. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking here and it's not fair, but I really, really enjoy the Netflix Voltron. I haven't seen okay. it. Yet. It okay. is gr- it is top tier grade A stuff. Really? Both yeah, that it, good. it is so good. Yes. Okay. Um, it's on my list. Just haven't hit the play button that's, yet. That's fine. But it's it's so good. Yeah. I just and it, it's unfair because this <laughs> show is not that show. What you're talking about? So yeah. I actually didn't watch either of these shows. These are one of the ones that I missed. But Gundam Wing, I feel like there's so much like Voltron. There's only just you have the five and the one, right? Where and I'll Gund- form the head. Yeah. Versus Gundam, you just have like space battles with all these mechs and. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were talking about all the different iterations: Gundam no. Wing, Gundam Zero, Gundam. No, this blah, one, blah, blah. the picture I think seed. is just a seed. Okay. Um, I've always, so growing up, I've, I didn't like Gundam. Like, it looked crappy to me. It was like some old 70s looking anime. The, the animation didn't interest me. And you guys know me. I'm not into like giant mechs and, and giant robots that doesn't really do anything for me. Um, I have Yet. lately in my, in my later right. years. Yet you bought Steel Battalion. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> hold on. Hold Yet, on. Yet hold you on. Cause I, that, makes sound, that, that makes it sound like I spent $300 on Steel Battalion. No. Working at a game store. Someone traded it in, couldn't, and then just gave it to me. That's yeah. different. Yeah. But Fair Pacific enough. Rim? Uh, Pacific Rim, if you give a robot a sword, then wow. I'm, 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 I'm kind of in. I'm kind of in. That's I, like it, every giant robot, though. Can I finish? Am I allowed to finish now? Are we going to have another outtake? <laughs> Power Ranger? In my later years now, uh, I do have an interest in kind of watching it. Just don't know where to start. It's there's so many and uh, maybe I could just start with a new one because uh, they're o. still making Gundam to this day. I have uh, start with Big O. I have Big O. <laughs> I already have Big O. Bought both season one and two. Uh, that's my jam. But uh, so I do want to start just trying to figure out where if you guys know where someone should start <laughs> watching Gundam. Uh, let me know. I can. It's probably on Crunchyroll or Funimation yeah. something. Um, just start with the Netflix Voltron series <laughs> 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 to, to get into <laughs> Gundam. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice segue. Yep. <laughs> Uh, so Voltron won that one, sixty nine percent to thirty percent to uh, Gundam with its broken wing, Ooh. and uh, last one, Thundercats and Ronin Warriors. There really wasn't a contest here, man. I guess you guys didn't watch Ronin it was Warriors. Not. Thundercats is Thundercats is awesome. Ronin Warriors, like I watched a good amount of that when I was younger. I, I didn't watch that at all. Didn't again. I think that was like just extremely. That niche. was little Garrett going. Man, this cartoon looks dumb. Looks old. Yeah, yeah it's a lot. which it's Super an older animation. Yeah, I get it. It's really old. Now, I, I, it's nice to be able to grow up and be able to kind of look back, like, oh, that was really close minded of me. We're gonna we're gonna have to like <laughs> stamp that his young Garrett voice. Yeah, uh, but uh, Th- Thundercats, I, I was so down with. Uh, they they're all cool except uh, Wiley yeah, Kit and Wiley Cat. Yeah, is that the name? Uh, hold on. You have a problem with Wily Kit and Wily Cat, yeah. but not Snarf. I mean, he's he's not the first one that comes to mind. Wow. wow. That's ridiculous. <laughs> wow. Okay. Little kids in the show, uh, stay away. Let, let, let the grown-ups handle it. I mean, that's like, that's like watching episode one of Star Wars and being like, Annoyed with the Trade Federation, like alien aliens that are really just Chinese people, but then not really complaining about Jar Jar Binks. Like you can't I mean, complain about them until you've already ripped on Jar Jar for a half hour. Okay, I, I see, I see. You see what I mean? Like, no, yeah, no, no. Snarf was cool. He was just looking. <laughs> he was looking after everybody. Looking after himself. The coward. Snarf, snarf. Yeah. Um, and Thundercats took that one. Why well, uh, you know? Sixty nine percent to thirty uh, percent. And this is a first for me, anyway. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I. I I was with the audience 100%. All five questions, they yes, went I with am. me. That okay. last week. To me? Not no, with no, me. no, no. No, with you? Oh. I mean, did it happen to you? I don't think it happened to you last week. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. We can check yeah, okay. later. If someone wants to, I'm not going to check that, but if someone no, out there would like just, to do the homework and, and, and check 74 episodes for this, 
Feel free. So no real Pac Mans for you today, huh? Well, they're all too close. They're yeah, close they were, they were no, yeah, there were no Pac Mans. Yeah, the only one I got me, I think, was uh, Samurai Jack. They they started with Sam. If you could yeah. go back to the past, Garrett. Yeah, he so, never did. So couple, actually, he might have. He, he does. Actually. Okay, because I know they it came back for like one last season. Yeah. So uh, feel free, feel free to chime in on this. Couple quick, you know, honorable mentions. You no, know. there's no honorable mentions in fan favorites. Just, just make it fan favorite. Yeah, just part make two. another one. That, no. That's it. You can't do. A, you can't do honorable mention. This is save it for another tsunami part two. Sorry, buddy. That that that's a potential fan phase right there. Yeah, don't waste them. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm gonna have to side with Johnny on this one. Yeah, he's killed. I'm, this I'm sorry, dude. This killed is a strange, Calvin. See what happened. Strange see what happened. Hey, just, Garrett's saying he's wrong about stuff. He said that he was close minded when he was he younger. He agrees with you. He sided with me on yeah. something. Who are yeah. you? I, uh, I'm done. I'm yep. All right. Thank you for the a great fan phase. It was show. until that happened. You, it's still, it's still good. Yep. Solid. Cool. All right, guys. So next topic, upcoming games in April of 2018. Um, so it's actually a smaller, uh, smaller group of AAA titles. Now, of course, there's a, a plethora of, uh, indies and, uh, Steam games, mobile, mobile games, apps as Garrett would call them. Yeah, mobile apps. Um, but there's a few, great. there's a few, uh, larger titles popping up. So we have, uh, Far Cry 5, which is actually coming out at the end of March, but because it's so close to April, I wanted to include it here. <laughs> Extinction, God of War, and the Nintendo Labo. Um, L- Labo. I'm pretty sure it's Labo. It's Labo. Labo. Cause Labo? you're in the lab. Labo. You're not a, lo- a lob. Okay. Nintendo well, uh, L-O-B-O? Lobo? Nintendo Lobo. I didn't, I didn't say <laughs> that. All right. So, um, let's start off with Far the Cry. The main Nintendo. Far Cry 5. What do you guys, what do you guys, what do you guys think about this one? Uh, I am interested in it, but, um, uh, I, th- I think it, it's starting to slow down for me. I think I'm kind of getting over the, the uh, Far Cry formula. The hype? No, not necessarily the hype, just the formula. The the same kind of, you're, you're plopped in the land, climb some towers, shoot some animals. And um, I, I, I don't know. I, I think I, it's kind of falling into the same place as the, the Telltale formula. Or the Call of Duty formula. Yeah, or the Call of Duty formula. The Assassin's Creed formula. Yeah, I was just gonna <laughs> just, say that. just formula formulas yeah. and, and general. formulas. Same game, different area type of thing. I mean, this this game looks really good. Uh, I'll probably pass on it compared to some other games that are coming out. What I'm curious to see because when this game debuted, there was a pretty big controversy because the the trailer dropped very closely to the uh, uh, the election. And so people were really getting hyped up and offended and not offended. So I'm curious to see if people are going to listen or pay attention to the storyline and then try to compare oh, what's going to happen in the world. They're trying to make, you know, this hidden agenda to tell us what's going on in our country and all this other, you know. Sometimes it's just a game, guys. Exactly. Sometimes it's just a game. I disagree with that. I think a lot of times in creative, you know, writing gamer game makers and movie makers do use that as a platform to say things. I don't know. If, I don't know if anyone knows enough about the, the actual story, though, to say like, oh, this is going to be politically charged uh, other than the fact that it had an american flag and it looked like you know two sides kind of arguing on the cover I, i'm just saying uh let's see what what's the what's the, the article i read or some story uh some teacher some art teacher wanted people to write uh, or draw a painting uh that something was important to them about a book that they've read or something like that some guy draws uh the great gatsby and uh draws gatsby reaching for um uh, some green star or something like that. I, I forget what it is exactly but he doesn't draw the hands and so the teacher goes oh um see this really speaks to me this really speaks something he knows he couldn't reach it he knows he couldn't get it and then the guy just kind of leans over to a classmate and goes i i don't know how to draw hands mm. you know so it's just sometimes it's just it's it's not not everything is has to have a deeper meaning is all i'm saying uh, maybe a lot of times it does but not all the time i I think you're, I, I see your point in that, but it's, it's a little on the nose, I think, for some, for some creative writing to make it about like racism and or potentially racism and, and, and someone who's controlling a town through, you know, through religion, through, yeah, through I'm, religion and just, and, 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 and subverting like what they believe. Yeah. I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, or right. I'm, I'm just saying that I think in this instance, if, if that is what the story is going to fully be about, then it's very possible that they are, making a point based upon what they believe. I mean, it could just be a new setting. We've but, never been in the Americas before yeah, with Far Cry. You you're absolutely right. It could be that too. Um so yeah, I mean either either way we'll we'll see. And yeah. even 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 that, even if it's in there, it could just be random coincidence. Yeah. Because I mean if they've been make, if they've been working on this game for four years, the president's been in office just over a year, they couldn't have known 
what was yeah. going to happen yeah. when they how, made the story. What things could have turned out. Yeah, Barack Obama was in office when they were doing this, you know, so they were <laughs> thought, oh, yeah, it's way off what's been going on, you know, so... Um, but yeah, I'm excited for this game. Honestly, the the only problem with it, I believe it did get pushed back. It was supposed to come out last year, wasn't it? Yep. Um, now, that could have been something where they wanted it to maybe get away from the president's... Maybe. Whatever's been going yeah, on with him. Press and yeah. Um, but I feel like the cycle of time is just too long. Like, it's just it's just been in, like, our, the general mind share too, too long. I just wanted to go away and just come out, you know? Well, it's been... Well, Far Cry 4 came out three years ago? Not too long ago. Yeah, but we, we did have Primal in primal, between, right? Yeah, yeah so... Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward. This thing should be fun. Um, I really don't know what they're going to make it about, though. Other Okay, so I know what it's going to be about. I understand, like, the gameplay aspects of it. But in the other Far Cry games, it's about survival. It's about, you know, tackling nature and animals and and taking the environment and, and living off of it, building things, upgrading your equipment. But if this is in, like, America, like North America, United States... How, how can you do that There's, so much? There's not that many natural predators in no. the United States. The well, humans the, are the predators. It, it seems to be based out around like the the south, so swamps. There's going to be alligators. There's probably going to be bears. Um, there, there's still there's still predators. I mean, we're not going to have elephants running around, but does right. this take place in Montana? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, you say the south, but there's no there's no part of the south that's going to have a lot of like swamps and bears. Like, Louisiana, they won't I have bears, Louisiana. I guarantee. <laughs> um, so I don't know. It, it seems a little too far out of its ele- element, but I mean, at one point, everyone thought Far Cry Three was going to bomb, and that yeah, brought the that, series that, back. Exactly. So, God, remember Far Cry Two? Yeah. So, Jeez. so we'll see. Um, God of War. God of War is getting its next game, just titled God of War. Yeah, I, I felt they could have done better, but okay. Well, you know, well, what? as far as title, in in, re- in regards to the title, I can kind of understand it from from the standpoint of the original game came out what in the the 90s. For uh, for for people, I think it was early, quite, quite, early, quite early 2000s. a long time ago, right? <laughs> so if you are a gamer who is 15 or 16 years old, not that they would say it's their target demographic because it's a maturity game, but that's their target demographic, like 16 year old boys, 17. You know, those kids were born in the year 2000, so they didn't even really understand God of War what till they were seven or eight years old. Yeah, by. So, by- Two or three. Right. So exactly. By game two or three or farther. So for you to then tell them, okay, well, you know, God of War five is coming out or whatever you want to call it. They, they don't care. Like they want to see something fresh and new. Well, two things, two things about that. Um, no, I think you don't want to put a five on it because that's way too long. There's, there's a couple of reasons why you don't want to put a num too many numbers or, or a big number on your title. A people seeing that and going, well, I didn't play two i didn't play three i'm not gonna play five right you know there's that two it just kind of shows age in your in your franchise i I don't think that's always a good thing you know it kind of looks like you you've gone on for a while you may have overstayed your welcome right but as as far as calling it something i think that it could have had a subtitle it could have just been a subtle change the god of war maybe because there's two of them the gods of war i I think there's things that you could have done rather than just go "Ah, uh, god of war yeah i i don't disagree i don't know if i 100 percent agree because i do think that there's there's some power and just keeping the title the same because even though that there is they're they're trying to step away from the legacy and not have a number attached by keeping it the same title then there still is legacy for people who remember. Yeah. Um, but I, again, I don't know for sure. I just see both sides of it. Yeah. First God of War came out in 2005. Okay, not as bad, but and, still, yeah, they were young. And I think they're really trying to set this game apart from its predecessors. I mean, this one is third person over the shoulder, not third person, like, you know, God's eye view perspective. All the more reason to call it something else. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but also, I think this, this game is purely uh, a Last of Us vibe. Like, you have... Now, or the camera shoulder, you have a second protagonist that is essentially assisting you in battle and you're interacting with the story, which is Ellie yeah. in Last of Us. And uh, there's no jump button. You're essentially grounded the entire game, which is completely different from what God of War is before. Yeah. And in this one, they're saying it's what, a 20, 25 hour campaign? Yeah, it's much extended than the other yeah, games. Yeah, which is what a lot of people wanted, like an extended God of War. Yeah. This yeah. seems to me more like it's it's an experience more so than mm-hmm. a, a game. Of course, it's still a game, but this they want you to feel something. They want yeah, you to witness. It's pulling away from its action-adventure roots yes. a little bit. Yeah, yeah I could see Which that. I like. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a new step, and I think that, I think that's important for a franchise as old as this one to yeah. to get away from the same tried and true methods because tried and true is good until it becomes stale, stale. and boring. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I'm curious if the they're going to keep any puzzle elements because sure, that's what God of War was about too. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Um, all right, last one, Nintendo Labo. Thank you. I'm pretty sure it's Labo, but they've already, they've said it multiple okay. times. All right, well, <laughs> uh, Labo. What you guys got? I mean, we I'm, talked about it I briefly mean, before. I'm not going to pick it up, but it'll. They did announce a few more kits, though, like or what? cardboard you, pieces. You know? Um, I I saw one, and I I don't remember what it was. Let's build a house. No, they, there was a new one that they talked about since the announcement. Build a wife. Uh, no, I don't think I don't. <laughs> I'm not even going to go into that. Yeah, I do not care. This this is not for me. I do not see a point to this. And maybe when I get some hands on time with it. Maybe I will change my tune. Uh, I will pull a new age Garrett and redact my statement if I have to. But uh, so far, nah, I it think, ain't for me. I think it'll do rather well. I don't think it'll sell gangbusters. It'll it, it will do well. Uh, like I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a successful thing. It's not for me. O- over the last year, I think I've done a fair job of saying that the Switch is doing very well. They've done a great job. <laughs> They've done a great job of. Uh, you know, putting out the hits, making sure they have all their franchises make an appearance very early on in the life cycle. Screw you guys for selling us cardboard. That's all I got. I mean, it's a great way to save money. <laughs> yeah, it's, an, it's an interactive way to play. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you don't, you don't need. Don't try to sales else. pitch me. You don't need anything else but stuff that you can already find off the, the streets. Like if Grayson were older, I think he'd, he'd be pretty excited for this. Sadly. Sadly. <laughs> Give it time. Yep. All right. Well, that is uh, all time we had here for uh, the games coming up in April. Not a large list of AAA titles, but a few. But if there are any other titles coming out that we've missed, so maybe some smaller releases, uh, hit us up. We'll talk about them uh, in the beginning of our next episode and, uh, and we'll get into it. Gamer trivia. Every week, two hosts go head to head in a best of three. One trivia. shall rise, one shall fall all the way down. The winner retains bragging rights. Stays and plays again next week while the loser makes next week's trivia. Play along. See how much gamer knowledge you have in gamer trivia. What have you got for us today, Joshua? Well, if you get another eight point streak, we'll call it a Kilimanjaro. Well, he's um, only this at is six. number seven. This is number no, seven. No, I was talking about yeah. uh, all Uh-oh. the points. Well, Uh-oh. no, this is not Uh-oh. number seven. Mm. This is your seventh time trying. This will you do not have one yet. <laughs> Don't say this is number seven. Like you just, you just got the W. All right. We're a podcast about games. We love games. This is a trivia about games. Faces about games. Multiple games. Yeah, so this is gamer trivia, gamer trivia. (laughs) This is a trivia about our trivia? This is a trivia about games, so it's gamer trivia, gamer trivia. All right. Good luck. Question number one. What was the first console video game that allowed you to save your game file? Is it A, Final Fantasy? Is it B, The Legend of Zelda? Is it C, Kirby's Adventure? Or is it D, Mega Man? Oh, wow. Don't no, not that one. Answers one more time. <laughs> Gary gave me a letter F. <laughs> um, so uh, we are not doing true or false. So uh, A, Final Fantasy. B, Legend of Zelda. C, Kirby's Adventure. D, Mega Man. I have Johnny's answer and Garrett's revised answer. Oh man, there's. I had another answer, but I think this one's right. But I'm gonna kick myself if it's wrong. Okay, well, are you gonna kick me if it's right? I'm pretty sure you got it right. I don't think your legs reach that far. All right, uh, Johnny, I, I can get him. You said B, The Legend of Zelda. Mm-hmm. Garrett, you said A, Final Fantasy. The correct answer is B. The Legend of Zelda was the first game mm, did not know. to uh, allow you to save your game file. So, one point for Johnny. And we got to get the buzzer for Garrett. I mean, you don't got that. No. We just go. Well, we doing it. All right. One zero. Question number two. What was the first game to feature the Konami code? The famous Konami code. Is it A, Gradius? B, Contra, C, Castlevania, or D, Metal Gear, as Johnny likes to do the voice for that. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. I have Garrett's answer. I have Johnny's answer. Kept you waiting, huh? (laughs) Yes, you did. Johnny, you said A, it is Gradius. Garrett, you also said A, it was Gradius. The correct answer is A, it was Gradius. Snake! (laughs) All right. Point for each of you. Score is 2-1 in Johnny's favor. You know, the thing that stinks about having three questions is you don't really get to do two fun facts because it doesn't Just really do one roll. after number one and after number three, and then go into your salty sudden question. Okay. <laughs> That's 
as two segments, Johnny just kind of takes the wind out of the sails. What? I, I helped you. And, uh, fun fact number one and only. <laughs> The famously awful Atari game E.T. maybe wasn't that awful. It sold 1.5 million units. That was before they knew. No, no, well, they probably... No one could are. stream it. Uh, <laughs> 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 Which uh, I think is like... The, it's in like the top 10 of highest selling Atari games. Which is pretty ridiculous. Question number three. What was the first video game console to use a memory card? Is it A, the Sega Dreamcast? Is it B, the PlayStation 1? Is it C... The Neo Geo, or is it D, the Nintendo 64? This is actually uh, a challenge there. Answers? All right. A, Sega Dreamcast. B, PlayStation 1. C, Neo Geo. Or D, Nintendo 64. Gary gave me his answer. The first console to use a memory card. I have Johnny's answer. Johnny, you said C, Neo Geo, which means I'm guessing you know what that is. Mm -hmm. Garrett, you said D, the Nintendo 64. The... The answer is C, Neo Geo. Oh, man. Not <sighs> necessarily sweep you, but, like, I'm, not miss yeah, a beat. It's, it's looking so, rough for me. So it's a third point for Johnny. All right. All right, Johnny. And then Garrett, he's at his one point, but he got that one wrong. So we got to give him the buzzer. But no skunks today. But you might get a zero because it's sudden death time. Everybody knows how this works. You bet as many points as you want to bet. You get the answer right, you will gain that many <laughs> points you bet. But also, you get a bonus two points for a correct answer. And if you... Bet with a wrong answer, you lose that many points. Going for I max have, points, Johnny? I have Johnny's points I guess bet. you'll have to see. And I have Garrett's point bet. I also have to point out you made the 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 instructions for how this question works very confusing. It's okay. Everyone knows how it works. <laughs> you guys ready? Yep. Ready for this? Uh-huh. What was the first video game to be played in outer space? It's kind of an easy one if you kind of read magazines back in the day. I have Garrett's answer. And Johnny's answer. Well, you both said it was Tetris, which means you both are correct. <laughs> so we go to the points. Garrett, you had one point. You bet one point. That puts you to two with a correct answer. That puts you to four. Johnny had bet zero points out of his three, which gives him three plus the two, which puts him at five. So he barely squeaks by Garrett by one point, making him this week's Gamer Trivia Gamer Trivia Champion. Starting from scratch. Oh, you tied your your career high. But yeah. Couldn't get over the hump. Not that was Johnny's time. camel back. <laughs> my my backup question, if you guys tied, was what's the last GameCube game? The to last release GameCube the game? last GameCube game. Do you know? Yes, I do. Oh, so do I. Okay, I guess we'll just leave that yeah. out of the set. We can't do that to the listeners. It's the Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. Yep. <laughs> and we won't need to go over third and fourth and fifth. So, all right. Because I didn't need it. All right. Felt nice. I haven't, I haven't won in a while on that one. So now it's your turn to bust him in the next game. Um, not, um, no, no, not, not vengeful. It's not I, about vengeful. I'm talking about the next game segment. You have to stop his streak. Oh, that, was, no, no, it'll probably happen. Please, please, please. He's on an NTG streak. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's a uh, gamer trivia. All right, VR headsets. So most of the VR headsets that are, are, are still kicking and popping have been out for at least a year. Some of them up to almost two years with the uh, PlayStation VR, HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, all being out for more than 365 days. Um, so let's let's take a look at one year later and how these things are faring. Um, so how how's VR faring to you? I mean, I forgot VR was a thing. I really did. God, do I not care about this? <laughs> <laughs> so you say you don't care, but then you're willing to try the games when we go to PlayStation Experience. And I that was my through. first and only time, and oh. only because I hadn't before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. G Garrett's wow. like uh, mobile apps, and then VR. VR then is just above <laughs> mobile apps. Just <laughs> above it, like like a notch. I mean, I, those are act. Those are I can say are gonna games. Say, are you going to say VR's apps? <laughs> So no, just a no, digital app. no, VR, uh, I mean, they they still are making stuff, which is nice, but where they were anticipating having what a VR and X amount, it was like one out of five or six homes. Like, I, I don't think it's going to ever hit that number. Yeah, v soon, VR, anyway. VR has definitely found a niche and it has definitely done, I think, well enough to, to stay, uh, stay afloat. Whereas a lot of the, uh, the motion gaming has fallen away where the connect is just, it's literally discontinued. PlayStation has abandoned their their PlayStation Move lineup. Uh, Nintendo, the, while they still utilize it with their Nintendo Switch in some ways, for the most part, has scrapped motion gaming. Doesn't uh, PlayStation VR use 
motion or uh, move? It, it uses the move controllers, but as far that's only because you know you're VR gaming. Okay. You, need, you need to have controllers in your hands. Right. Um, but as far as just like here's a camera, do some stuff. Here's just dance. That's that's eye of judgment. It's, yeah, it's evolved. <laughs> it's on your face. Now. Eye of judgment could have been something sweet. It could have been. Yeah. Um. But yeah, v- VR has found a solidified base where it, it will stay around. There's there's over sixty five titles coming out this year, twenty eighteen, or at least that are slated to um, come out for like Oculus Rift, P- yep. PSVR, HTC Vive, which is great. Which is, which is more than we've ever seen for motion gaming, really, or or, or the PlayStation uh, PlayStation. Uh, uh-huh. the, what heck is it called? Uh- What's the thing that they discontinued the uh, mobile game system? Uh, PSP, PS Vita, the Vita. The Vita yes. I was like, where are you going? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's more games we've ever seen in total on the PS Vita, probably. There it is. That's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, got it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think I think it's fared okay. Um, it, it's done worse than what analysts were saying. They were they were hyping it the hell up. Um, but I think it did what we expected, which is come in, be a solid thing for people, and maybe continue to grow over a few years. I, I think for it to be as big as they want it to be, the technology has got to be more. It's got to be bigger. Um, I don't know what else you can really add. Uh, maybe the, the headset's smaller. Maybe the games are more, you know, uh, complex and, and require more interactive, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but as far as just kind of here I am, here here's a point. Um, uh, in a lot of these games, you kind of just have motion points where you kind of teleport to. It's not just straight out moving. Uh, I think that's mostly for people with like motion sickness and everything. They they have that as a setting a lot of times. Yeah, or the fact that if you're in a room with a finite amount of space, you can't just walk forward forever. Yeah. Like, yeah. they're gonna have to set up some sort of treadmill type system. Yeah, um, it it's got its issues, and I think the issue is the same the same issue that I have with with uh 3D movies. Like, what are you doing that makes this better than the way I was already doing it? And VR gaming, it's not. And whenever I've tried it, it's interesting, but it hasn't been like something where I've been like, okay, I would much rather play this game this way than the old way. Yeah. It's just more like, well, that's a cool thing, but I can live without it. Yeah. And it, it won't, it won't succeed until it, it, it it's a thing where I need this. Yeah. VR is essentially true first person where you turn around in a headset and you can see what you would really do if you actually turned around. Uh, I, it's interesting that Nintendo really kind of didn't jump the bomb. Like we got to get into this and they're seeing like, Hey, they did their own thing and it's working for them. So cool for them. But VR, I, I think it came out at the right time, not too early and not too late. And people were drawn to it because this is. As you said, Johnny, they hyped it up. This is the new thing. But I think the, the true lack of, of first party support and, you know, Sony and Microsoft and, you know, Oculus and a couple of their like heavy developers really didn't go all in and creating like games exclusively for this type of genre. I think that's what, uh, one of the reasons why it didn't really kind of expand and blow up. I would only slightly disagree there. I, I think Sony was really into it. Um, for them to make one uh, and and kind of have their own, they, they were they were in it to try and be a part of the big thing. Yeah, I agree with you on that one, Garrett. And you know what? Microsoft is right there with them. They they have theirs coming out. Uh, HoloLens, I mean, I, yeah, yeah. Ho- HoloLens. Whenever it decides, and to it, it, it's it's more so augmented reality, but it is VR as well. So. Um, yeah, that that's coming. I think I think the thing that I, I look at here with all the hype and the stupid all the hype and the stupid stuff is that you made a point that you said it, it was interesting that Nintendo didn't go in. To me, it was not interesting because I didn't expect them to. And in, in no point in time has Nintendo ever followed anybody else's trends. They never do. People go to disc, they stay on cartridge. People go to cartridge, they stay on disc. People so memory card, they abandon it. Like they do what they want because they feel it's the right choice. And sometimes it's wrong, but they never follow trends. And the problem that I see with Microsoft, um, HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, VR, all, all the people making headsets is they saw someone do it or heard a whiff of someone wanting to do it. And then they went, we got to get on that too. What if it takes off? We got to have one to market the same time that they have one go to market. Otherwise, what if it's not going to, they'll take off and then ours will be left behind. They'll have a market share of 75%. They, how, they how much are they going to price theirs? Exactly. Wait, wait, wait for them to announce it. Ours is a hundred bucks less. <laughs> Competition. <laughs> and that's what they did. And Nintendo said, no, we don't care. We never will care. And when we do care, it's because we decided to, no matter how good you did. Yeah. Um, Nintendo do what they don't. don't. <laughs> Nintendo do what they do. What they don't. Do what um, they don't. 
Yeah, and I think I think honestly, I, th- I feel that honestly, in the last two years with VR trying to get big was because one company saw someone do it, so they did it. Then other companies saw those two do it, so they said, well, we're going to do it too. And they hyped themselves up is what <laughs> happened. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I got it. You got it. Yeah, I got it too. I'm Let's making go. one too. <laughs> you making just, one? Just talking in a mirror to yourself, <laughs> hyping yourself up. Um, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so la- last quick question. Where does it, where does it go from here for VR? Uh, it's, um, it's a good question. I'm sure they're wondering too. I, I think, I think it goes up. I don't think it'll go down. I think it will go up. I think once you're in, you'll look for that content. Um, but here's what's going to happen in my opinion. There's going to be one game. There's going to be one game that comes out that will be the solidifying thing to make it more, maybe not the, but more of a household presence. There'll be a game that you will want to play that you cannot play otherwise. And that's what's going to change. I think it's not going to be a, a game that does it. I think it's going to be, I suppose, an experience. Maybe some sort of uh, virtual interactive movie or something. Or some kind of, uh, I don't know, spend a day at a theme park kind of thing. Like like experiences, not games. I think that's what's going to be the thing that makes people go, I need a VR headset. Okay, cool. So killer app versus killer experience. That's actually, you know, I know we're done, but that was a good point, actually. I was thinking, like, think about someone who, who can't go to Disneyland. Like, people who live in, you know, Kentucky. Kansas. Ken- Louisiana. <laughs> Florida. No. If they can't go, they can't go. <laughs> but imagine, imagine much like, um, Google has, um, like the Google car, you know, and you can, you can click on Google Maps and literally look 365 look degrees street. on a street. Yeah. If they, if Disney did that and they just allowed you to, to go where you wanted in Disneyland and see everything, that's an experience. That is. That, I mean, that'd be a way to do it. Yeah, exactly. Click, click on a ride, kind of actually witness as the camera person uh, in the ride. You Vir- look left, look right. Virtually stand in line for two hours. Oh. Like, you get the whole experience. I'm sure that yeah. part will be taken out. <laughs> Pay for Fast Pass. <laughs> <laughs> DLC microtransactions. <laughs> you think that'll just, real quick, you think that'll take people out of the park? They're like, why would I need to go to Disneyland? Because I can kind of VR it at home. If, if you have access to the park, uh, you, you'll go to the park. It could be maybe a thing where it's like, ah, I kind of want to just check out something, but I don't want to get up. I don't want to go, uh, you know, b- b- lazy people <laughs> that just want to be at the park, but don't want to do anything. Just, well, let me check out this show or something like that. I don't think they'd allow you to do that stuff. They wouldn't, I don't think they let you do like shows, or like attractions yeah. to yeah. experience. And they would, they, you could look at this park. You could like see the amphitheater before it like fills up, but just buy Connect Adventures, Disneyland edition. Yeah. But, it's on Xbox One. <laughs> yep. Sadly enough. No, but, uh, what I was going to say was, you know, there are already some that are doing it like that. Like there's, uh, I don't know if it's NBA TV or one of, one of the NBA apps. You can essentially, Watch a game sitting courtside in VR. That's pretty cool, actually. So, yeah, so I don't even it, care about sports, but that's neat. yeah. So like those, I think along the lines of what you're saying, Gary, those yeah. are experiences that you get that you can immerse yourself in the genre or niche that you like. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that's our take on uh, VR sets, VR headsets, uh, one year or more. Uh, into their lifespan let us know what you think do you own one do you use it um have you had an experience that maybe you couldn't get in gaming otherwise let us know what that might be reach us on twitter at super co-op squad or on uh, by our email contact at scspodcast.net all right guys it's time for the speed run so every week we'll break down 10 news stories fun facts just general news that didn't make it for a full segment we give ourselves 60 seconds one minute one sixtieth of an hour per topic before we move on to the next one. I don't know if the math one. checks out. It, it, how many? One hundred? It's one sixtieth of an hour. There are 60 minutes in Makes an sense. hour. What are you talking about? I don't know. I just said that. Classic Joshua. Uh, but we give ourselves that much time before we move on, finish or not. We got to go fast. Let's go! In the speed run. Me, me. That was last week. Oh, damn. <laughs> The Force is strong with John Williams as the legendary composer's original six Star Wars soundtracks are being remastered and released on Star Wars Day. When's that, Johnny? May the 4th. This is true. And also with you. <laughs> so, okay. So, oh, good. No, I got another one. I had a question for Johnny. So you are one that is very into this franchise. Do you like this, that they're essentially recomposing all the music? I, I don't care. It was already good. Like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could hear more things that maybe I couldn't hear before, but the thing was already a masterpiece. But, like, do you need to do that? But do you, do you like them doing this? I don't you? care. Oh, so yeah. you don't care all around. Yeah, I really don't. But I mean, it doesn't need it. No, it doesn't need it. But hey, if you're, you want to 
bring something out to celebrate Star Wars. So sadly, Episode Nine is John Williams' last um, movie composing music for Star Wars. So he says he's out after this. I don't know if that's he's unhappy with the direction, or or maybe it's too much stress. I don't know. I don't know what his reasoning is. Yeah, I mean, ultimately though, they're still going to use massive amounts oh. of his stuff. Oh yeah. So yeah, they own that. He's still going to get paid for his music <laughs> being in yeah, he's just, Star Wars. He's just retiring. That's all. He's yep. Doing. Next. Texas is building a $10 million stadium for esports. It'll be the biggest esports stadium in America. For now. Yeah. Yeah, this is true. Being a bigger one for $20 million. Yeah, so school, like high school is already beginning to have like esports teams and leagues. Wow. Uh, my wife works for a prestigious private school in uh, Orange County, and uh, they have a League of Legends team. Do Where they? was this when I was a kid? <laughs> What, what? Come on. You had like cyber cafes and you just made your own the, team of the strangers you played with. You don't even like League of Legends, though. No, but I'm sure there's, there could be other things. I'm sure there's. I bet you would have chosen to play League of Legends if that was an option. Probably not. PC game. Wow. I, I don't like playing on the PC. But if, if it's that or I have to do PE. Oh, well, okay. If it's like a, a choice, like, you know, substitute. Yeah, I'll learn League of Legends. <laughs> learn League of Legends real quick. So is this like a, a thing where it's like a class? I mean, I don't or know. Or like a to... sport, like an actual like sixth period type of sport? I don't know. I would I assume it's cared. after school. Probably. I never cared to go that deep into asking her, but okay. I know it's a thing. That's neat. But uh, Giant Stadium. Uh, it's cool to see now people put big money into esports. And it's next. How far down the rabbit hole will you go? Rumors of a new Matrix film surface with plans to extend, oh, I'm sorry, plans to expand the Matrix universe past the original trilogy. You really hurt that line there at the beginning, bud. But, but it's okay. I was really hoping for like a like a, a Morpheus, like, how far will the rabbit hole down, down something? Yeah, no, I'm late. I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wasn't really feeling it. Yeah, this, uh, I don't care, man. Don't stop. Just make something new. Stop doing this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I still haven't finished the, the Matrix saga. I've not watched the third movie. Don't you don't need, call it a saga. you don't need, <laughs> I think you could, but you don't need to watch it. Just if it would have ended at number one, we'd all be better for it. Yep. Although, yeah. number this, one in pieces of number two. No, the second one was passable. It was, it was, those guys was, with the dreadlocks. The, the, the white guys they had a really great like chase scene that had fights in the middle of the chase that were pretty good but and uh there's a lot of agent smiths that was one of the worst them. parts they're all agent smiths they look very cg no it's, it, it's pretty rough yeah i mean unless they make it like awesome like i'm okay next with the latest shooting tragedies across the country disney has removed blasters from its han solo movie posters uh, this doesn't solve the issue or help, I don't think, very this much. This doesn't do anything. Yeah, I don't I don't think this is... I don't want to say it's not good. I see the intent, but it doesn't exactly. serve a purpose. Exactly. Nothing is... Nothing is... Nothing bad happened from the from the blasters being there. Nothing good is going to happen from blasters not being there. Yeah, I don't think that there no was effect. one person that walked by the Han Solo blaster poster and said, hmm, I'm going to go murder some people. Like, it's just, it, it's just, this is only a PR stunt yeah, for bl- them. Blasters are not the issue. I, yeah. As a matter of fact, thinking about it more, I'm actually a little, not offended, but upset that, that Disney would think that this is something they need to talk that, about. That that's okay. Yeah. yeah, like, just don't do it. Just leave it alone. I, I don't know what they were really going for here. Like, did they? I mean, there have to be multiple people thinking and talking about. Mm, uh, maybe we should move those. Uh, what was that conversation? Yeah. W- where? Where's? Where, what's the goal? Yeah. But it's not like people are like Disney's being insensitive to the subject matter. No, uh, no, no one's saying that. But just this doesn't do anything. No, it's it changes your poster, and now it's really not Hansel. Next, Funimation asked Nintendo via Twitter. If they will put Goku in the upcoming Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo Switch. Do it! They I won't, but it'll be do very it now. cool. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say they won't. Super guest character. But I don't want Goku in it. I don't think he fits, but then again... Did, did Bayo? Yeah, did Bayonetta? Like, did Cloud? Yeah. Well, Ryu? Namco's done some Dragon Ball games, haven't they? Yeah, they have. Namco Bandai, I believe, did like Budokai and yeah. Budokai Tenkaichi. Yeah, they did all the Budokai stuff, so, I mean, they're there. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. I don't see Goku fitting... I don't know, but uh, more characters. Yeah, if it does happen, <laughs> right? right? Yeah, yeah. Now, I, mean, I, I imagine his his uh, color swaps would be you know Goku blue. That'd be awesome. Uh, Ko Ken, Super Saiyan, Rose, you know, all those kind of things. Yes. Or make Goku it like Black. Bowser Junior, where it's just all the Z fighters. <laughs> that <laughs> would be dope. But they don't have the exact same moveset. set. That's fine. So it have to be all the it have stuff. to be all the Saiyans. Well, see, but not everyone has a command man. Like just, Krillin does. I mean, that's fine. Gohan even does. if it's Vegeta, just have him do some sort of Kai blast. Just not even a Kamehameha. Just Kai. 
<laughs> Kai Blast. Eh. But, I mean, it would work. It would work. Pretty sure it's Key Blast. Kai. Well, next. I have no input, apparently. It's okay. We can talk about some more. Because in similar fashion, Ninten- uh, someone tweeted head of Xbox Phil Spencer if he would be willing to let Nintendo use Banjo and Kazooie as a playable character in Smash Brothers. And Phil replied, yep. So remember when you were saying that you wanted Banjo? Exactly. And I was saying, oh, they'll have to talk to Microsoft about it. I think they will probably have an Xbox guest character or something uh, usually associated with, with Xbox. But Banjo... The character is too close to the way that they have Duck Hunt. It'd be Banjo yeah. and Kazooie. But I see what you're saying. I, I know. I, I just didn't want to say Kazooie. Kazooie's after. just as important, if not more. Sure. But anyway. <laughs> no, that's that's true. But I'm yeah, I would saying. think it's similar to Duck Hunt where you have you know, both of them work and attack in tandem. Yeah. I would say uh, that there, there could be a lot you can do. You could have it where Banjo's is the player with Kazooie in the backpack, but there is uh, an option, maybe some sort of like a style, uh, switch. For, a style switch, exactly, where, where uh, now Kazooie is, is the forefront and, you know, Banjo's just on her back doing, you know, bird combos and moving a lot faster. I can see that. Yeah, kind of like Zelda Sheet kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. I see I'm, where you're going. I mean, just a, a thought that they could do. Okay. But if not Banjo Kazooie, who who do you think, or who, who who do you think would be next? Well, we'll never know. Deadpool Two has reportedly scored high in recent test screenings. Uh, those numbers are currently higher than the first Deadpool movie scored, as far as those screenings. So that's that's interesting that people like the second one, or they they rated higher in the pre screens, which is most of the full movie, but not all of it because of you know different cuts and stuff that they do. Yeah. So is this trending? To do well, probably. I don't think it's gonna hit the sales numbers the first Deadpool did. I think there was nothing like it. I think it will. Yeah, I think you're crazy that you think that this won't make more money than Deadpool one. Absolutely. The, the, like they're finally doing Deadpool right. I guess they're finally doing Deadpool at all. Well, how much did, did Deadpool like do a lot of money in the theaters to begin with? I, I don't remember the numbers, but I know it is the highest, it is the highest grossing maturated film of all time. No, no R rated film had ever made more money. Right. Oh. Because think wow. about it, most 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 R rated films don't do that great. Like, yeah, minus PG thirteen films. Minus it was it well, was it rated R? <laughs> no, it might probably. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Yeah. So I mean, the last trailer looked pretty good. I think more than Logan, probably. Huh. Yeah. Interesting, because Logan did very well. Yeah. Next. Nickelodeon and THQ Nordic announced the return of some popular games based on Nick's franchises such as Jimmy Neutron, Rocket Power, and Rugrats. Um, so I didn't play any of their games, except the Rugrats one. I played the Rugrats one a long time ago on the PS1. That's when THQ was, you know, at its higher peak. I didn't play a lot of these. I like the idea, but the article I read is that they're essentially going to be bringing back these exact same games with the possibility of making new ones. And now THQ's at its lowest point in the grave. Again, the, the, no THQ's doing fine. They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're THQ doing fine. rolling in their grave. <laughs> uh, I think when I read this article, there was a screenshot of Ren and Stimpy, like yeah. from the Sega Genesis. Yeah, there was there was a list of like twenty games. I played the Ren and Stimpy game. It was it was whatever WWE was, franchises, like old South liked, Park games. I like being able to slap. You know, slap each other. Like have Ren <laughs> just Stupid idiot. Yeah, just have Ren slap the crap out of Stimpy. I I, I always like Stimpy more. Really? Yeah. Stimpy's cool. He he's the stupid one though. He's funny. Rocko's Modern Life, I think, is in that group. I can see that. Next. According to the Hollywood according to the Hollywood reporter, the cast of Stranger Things will be getting a nice pay increase, with the kids earning twelve times more money, up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars per episode. And the adults earning up to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars per episode. These kids are now going to be multimillionaires. Good for these kids. That, that's a lot of money for kids. How m- I haven't watched the show yet. How many kids are like revolving in there? It's like five. Dang. Yeah, I have four and a half. Okay, so that's over a million dollars an episode, regarding your I mean, stars. Will like, does nothing. But like he, the first season, <laughs> Will is not even. He there. really, even in the second season, he really doesn't do he's, much. He's, yeah, four and a half. No one, no one watches <laughs> the show for him. No, like I couldn't even tell you a personality so maybe trait of his. Uh, Hopeless. Damsel in that's distress. A good one. Damsel in distress. That's a good one. <laughs> so what do you think, Johnny? I mean, yeah, man, these kids deserve that money, and it's kind of sad that they were getting paid twenty thousand an episode beforehand for the first and second seasons. Like that's. That's just highway robbery. I mean, I'd say for the first season, that, that's kind of okay, because you don't know how well it's going to do. Yeah. Second season, it, it should have been increased. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Maybe I don't... I just know that for the first season, it was 20. Next. Let the E3 rumors begin. Hints are floating around the internet that Cyberpunk 2077 will likely be at E3 this year. Well, it's about time. 
right? I mean, I, I know nothing about the game. I know there was oh. like a teaser about it real quick. The teaser was, that was pretty like cool. four years ago. It was a yeah. like, little sneak peek. It's, it was a trailer. It's but. been four years, and it, it, it wasn't even a full trailer. It was more like a teaser. It didn't show yeah. any gameplay. No, not at all. So, what is yeah. this game about? Who's Who making it again? CD, CD Project. Oh, okay, so, I'm in. Right? That's all you got to say. Exactly. The guys that made Witcher 3 all right. are making this game. All right. I'm on. <laughs> uh, yeah. You I'm had a... me a Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> you had me a CD. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> CD's games. Yeah, I, I don't know what this is going to be. I mean, I, I, I imagine that it's going to be something similar to like not not gameplay but maybe like the the the, the universe to um detroit because yeah. obviously the person getting shot by those bullets in the old trailer is is a robot yeah as a robot yeah. or, or or created person remember the game remember me nobody remember does me. oh this, huh? so it's kind of the action like capcom yeah capcom, futuristics yeah. not really steampunk like this is kind of in that in that same vein stop man <laughs> end each time you hear all right guys he said end johnny <laughs> the to final. everything never mind that's the end of the speed run oh, okay i was like where's your closing <laughs> statement it's time for name the game three games two competing hosts clues that lead to the one correct answer use your wits match the clues and name the game yep Maybe Johnny won't be the only streak ender today. Hopefully, I I do keep my streak. I had four in a row, I'm going for five in a row. Uh, is that is that is that the current Super Co op Squad record? I'm right pretty now? sure. It is. It yeah, is, yeah. Because you had three. And yeah, three is probably the most I ever got to name. Name the game is not my cup of tea. Let's hope I'm, that I'm just you... a better host at this game than yeah. playing it. I feel Let's I'm a better see. host at trivia. Yes, okay. I like hosting. All right. Well, I did a little bit. Then lose more often, <laughs> right? So uh, I did a little bit of thinking on this one. So oh, I, I went through a list of games, and I said I need to be a little a little clever on this one. Answers are going to be opposites. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how you like this one. So game number one. Where is my super suit? Incredibles. Incredibles? No. Okay. A platforming. No. Don't know if that's a thing. It is. Okay. That was actually a deep cut. I was proud of you for that, Garrett. Thank you. Uh, Duck Dodgers. <laughs> no. This 2D side scroller was very well received. Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim. Nice. Did I didn't even get I, to finish it. I can't. I, did, even, I didn't want to give Johnny the chance. <laughs> I, yep. I wouldn't have got it. I can't even. I can't even fault you. That yeah. was that was well done. The rest of that was the uh, best selling uh, Sega Genesis game, uh, ninety four, one of the best rated. The next one was gonna be Use Your Head. Right. <laughs> point for funny. point for Garrett. Nice. Did you already give him the bell? I did. All right. Cool. Second game, a game that's played in black and white and sometimes shades of green. Uh, Super Mario Land. No. <laughs> <laughs> Limbo. No. Play a bonus game at the end of each stage. Some Kirby game. Uh, do you want to be more specific in some Kirby game? Is that uh, your answer? Kirby. Uh, Kirby Dreamland. No. Um, Kirby Dream Drop Distance. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No, no Kirby that, game. That is the the crossover, the best crossover, <laughs> right? That's a new meme now. Uh, no, that's wrong. When you hear the bell, that means school's over, or does it mean that the stage is over? No. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A bully? <laughs> no. So I'm going to read that again, and then I'm going to say the next one. So when you hear the bell, does that mean the school's out, or does it mean the stage is over? Next hint. This game introduces a new power-up for the turtle-hopping, goomba-stomping plumber. Super Mario Land? No. And Garrett already said that. He said Super Mario Land? Said, yes, he did. Yeah, that was my first oh. one. Um, <laughs> a tough one. I'm going to go. <laughs> uh, Super Mario Sunshine? No. Mario traversed space way before Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario Paint? No. <laughs> Super Mario Kart? No. Red, Red Bull gives you wings. Carrots give you ears. Uh, Mario Land 2? He got it! He got it! It's Super Mario Land 2. <laughs> what console was that even on? Game, Game Boy. Boy. So shades of black, white, and sometimes green. Yeah, I, I would never... That was what my first one was Super Ooh. Mario Land. Yeah, I know, and I almost said almost... But I was like, no, I can't say that. Point for Garrett. Ooh, All right. Geez. Well, I've lost. That was a hard one. Not well. Just don't get skunked. Well, that doesn't make me feel better. We'll make you feel worse if you get skunked. So it won't. No, <laughs> we will make you feel worse. You, if you, you get won't. You could rip on me, but I already feel bad. I oh, lost. Man. All right. All right well, buddy. I was wondering when you guys were gonna get there. Neither of us were at that rate. <laughs> we never were. Yeah. All right. Third game. Let's see if it's a deeper cut than that one. A battle arena with no butts in seats. Seen it. No. Oh, I like that one. It's, it's, I don't know. 
Uh, the word is pass, sir. Pass. There you go. Use a use a unique accessory to transfer and use your own personalized train fighters. Your personal train fighters. Super Smash Brothers. No. Pass. Grind your way to the top and prove you have what it takes to win and be the best. Pokemon Red. Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium. You had it. You had it. Dang. I said Battle Arena. Yeah, I forgot about no that No buttons. One. My next one was going to be a follow-up. Be the best like no one. <laughs> so Johnny did not get skunked. No. But Dang. Get Garrett, your point. Get your bell. There did get the get the bell. Nice well, job. I always feel good when I lose this game when I know that there's just nothing I could have yeah. done. Yeah. I, I never played Earthward and Gym, so I just, I, I know nothing. Neither did I. The, the <laughs> clues at the back end of that would have alluded to that. But um, <laughs> if, if you would have heard him say Super Mario Land, I think you would have said Super Mario Land. Yeah, too. I know. Never heard him, but good job, Garrett. You, you switched spots. You switched spots. Yeah. Yep, you, and you took away the streak. <laughs> My streak, <laughs> yours. There we go. <laughs> uh, Raindrops we'll falling <laughs> on my head. <laughs> I can see clearly now. <laughs> now I see the Smash Brothers commercials. <laughs> me and you, and you, you and me. me. <laughs> yeah, Just all out Smash battle. Brothers. All right, let's get this. Let's get on to the next part of the show. All right, it's time for uh, listener mail. Mail that we listen to from you as you give us mail to breed. Mm, Blue's Clues is coming back. Can you see that? Bow, bow, bow. Yeah. All right. Possibly with Johnson. Go ahead. <laughs> right. That's crazy. All right. Go Can't ahead, Garrett. Him. Number one. Email number one is from Dorian. Cool name. Dorian asks, what game are you most expecting from E3? Witcher 4, Elder Scrolls, I believe that's six? It should be six, bruh. Uh, you got to learn six. the Roman numerals here. Well, I mean, if you keep bleeding people off with IVs and VIs. <laughs> no. Sick burn, Gary. Uh, what game are you most expecting from E3? Witcher 4, Elder Scrolls 6, or Dragon Age 4? Quick side note, when I saw Dorian, I was like, the last time I heard that name was in Dragon Age Inquisition. And then he talks about Dragon Age in here. So I just went to Dorian Gray. Dragon Age 4, for sure. I I would really like to see that game. Think it's time? Think it's time for a new Dragon Age? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would, uh, mm, I don't know, there's some tough ones because all of those would be uh, great. I think it's too early for Witcher 4. Um, Elder Scrolls 6 has been rumored year after year where people are <laughs> hoping for it. Uh, but I think I would also have to go with Dragon Age 4. Yeah. Um, I want, not that the other ones weren't good, but I, I want something that reminds me of the first one again. So I kind of want a fresh take on, on Dragon Age and, and hope that 4 would be a, a kind of new start. I only played Inquisition, so I didn't play the original, which I've been told you is, got gyp- is it's the one. Yeah, you you missed out on the great one. I mean, I can still go back. Apparently, play. by the way, I'm still playing Sea of Thieves. Yeah, I think that's funny. I don't know why that is. <laughs> uh, question for you guys: Do you see a, a Fable game coming out before the next Elder Scrolls? No, no, like a new one. Yeah, no. Plus, the two don't have anything to do with one another. I know, but they're somewhat similar. They are not. As far as RPG elements, open world, do your missions. I mean, that's, 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 bad. that's like saying it's Super like Smash Brothers is <laughs> like PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Like it is, but yeah, it's not. That Yeah, that's totally fine because that's what I was alluding to. All right. Dragon Age all around. All right, cool. All right, email number two. Christopher asks the Super Co-op Squad, which Power Rangers are you in the, <laughs> which Power Rangers are you in the Super Co-op Squad? Not who do you like to be, but the role that you are within your podcast, both on and off the air. It's a fair question. Not the one that we want, the one that we feel that we are best that we we best uh, portray, I guess, or which one best portrays our personalities and what we do. Hmm. Jason, I'm Jason. And why do you think you're Jason? I'm kind of like a I recognize that I'm very <laughs> abrasive. So we're, cho- we're but, talking Jason mean, but the- I'm also kind of sort of the leader at times. So are you talking about Jason being the Red Ranger or Red Ranger or Jason being the real name of the Come guy on, that plays bro. Tommy <laughs> as the Green Ranger? Stop. Stop. Obvious. To be fair, let's clarify for the listeners who, who we're don't talk- exactly know. We're talking about the people in the show. <laughs> so the Red Ranger. <laughs> yes. Uh, that is what Johnny is, is talking Wasting about. Wasting time. Uh, <laughs> um, How's it feel to get your win taken out, huh? Let's see. I, I would say the Blue Ranger, but let's be honest, I'm not that smart. So I, I feel I'm a little charismatic. I'll go Black Ranger. Black Ranger, he's more like the cool, like, savvy swap. I, I actually, it's a weird, it's weird, weird day. day huh? um, I, I was, actually agree with that. I was going to agree with it, too. That's what I was going to say for Garrett. <laughs> Thank you. And you are of that color, so. A weird that day has <laughs> nothing to do about that. Oh. You're right. <laughs> Black Ranger you ain't got to be blood. It's just a super coincidence. 
All right, Joshua, what about you? I don't I don't even know if I could be close to any of Bro, the come on. We both know what Power Ranger you are. So you're saying I'm the smart one. Kimberly. You are Kimberly, bro. <laughs> exactly. I was exactly thinking Kimberly. You are exactly. That's exactly right. Okay, so why am I the pink ranger? Because I were because of the shirt no, I'm wearing. No, no one's doing about do what that. we're wearing. Nothing to do with that. <laughs> or so what color like, we I would, are. I would like to hear the reason. Like, I'm, I'm you're kind of like... You're I'm kinda the one like that everyone wants to be bubbly. with. Bubbly. You're bubbly. You're bubbly. Yeah, you're, you're kind of like an extra flair and fluff a little bit. Like, you come in with interesting stuff, and everyone probably goes like, oh, that's cute. Like that. I mean... <laughs> so I'm the best looking one. Got it. No one said... They can't see us. We could all look like sea hags. But we all agree that the Pink Ranger is the best looking. We're talking about personality. (laughs) Yeah, I'm What's on the inside? I have a beautiful personality. (laughs) Inside and out. So I think think that sums it up. All right. All right. To answer the end, we are very much the same in the podcast as we are outside the podcast. I'm actually a lot nicer off the podcast. Except uh, that is wrong. (laughs) (laughs) We're all exactly the the same. We're pretty much the same. (laughs) All the, you know... Your your face is a blah 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 like is... all day every day. That's okay, Johnny actually the though, Joshua was much more of a troll outside of this podcast. That is not true. Mm, <laughs> I'm a troll normally in life. Yes. Just because I play a character that is just very no. demeaning. Joshua, your, all your comments your all styles. the time, like you're a troll, man. I'm not a troll. If we brought Vivi in here right now, I will put. I'll you know put how money. much you rub it in her face when you win a game. That's yes. not trolling. Oh. That that's exactly what trolling what, is. Are, are you what, what, what are some of those words that we learned? Griefing. Yeah. <laughs> are you a griefer? <laughs> Yeah, that is you, sir. All right. Well, uh, thank you for your emails, guys. If you guys want to chat with us about anything, any weird questions, fun questions. That was a fun question. That was a good way. question, actually. Thank yeah. you, Christopher. Um, hit us up by email or on Twitter. Uh, Twitter's at, at Super Co-op Squad. Email is uh, contact at scspodcast.net. All right. Uh, what's going on with us outside of the podcast and our superpowers? Um, we'll give ourselves stupid superpowers to wrap up the episode. Thanks for chiming me in this time. Yeah. Um, all right. I will go first and I have a, okay. So, uh, I'm going through Cuphead still. I am Cuphead. playing a way out. Um, but I haven't actually started playing a way out because I need my wife to be present and available. That's a good reason to play a way out, which is a strictly co-op video yeah, game. <laughs> I, I need, I need her to play Especially the game. Especially since you're reviewing it. Yeah, I am reviewing <laughs> it for, a, play it by for yourself. a website. I have, I have to get it done by next Tuesday. So, so get on it, baby. Yeah, I have nine days. All right. Um, playing Sea of Thieves a bit as well. Hmm. It's, Are you? Yeah, I got popped it a couple what? times. Yeah, I got game pass. Like, <laughs> it's a 14-day free trial for a bunch of free games. Why not? Um, side note, I saw you playing Shantae in the Curse. The Sh- hold, whoa, hold on. Oh. I have a, I have oh, a my, week too. My, 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 <laughs> my bad. Um, the Sea of Thieves, it, it's not for me yet. Like, I'm going to keep trying a little bit. I'm going to try maybe some buds. I was going to hop on with you, Garrett, but time didn't allow for it. Uh, question but so far it's not for me i do have a question so are you giving it a chance because before you essentially were going to give this game a zero chance. it's free i got it for free so that's why i'm trying it and your thoughts are better than what you thought they were no it's about what i thought he, he yeah he's he's so far he's not on board uh <laughs> <laughs> see of these i see what you did there yeah. thank you yeah all right that's my week uh joshua i'll keep your scissors if you win you get my power if you lose Garrett gets my power. I already have the power that I'm going to bestow upon one of you. So, so yeah. I'm okay. saying that you right have now no for idea. clarification. Yeah. Best out of one? So yeah, best out of one. One, two, three, shoot? Yep. Okay. One, two, three, shoot. All right. You lost. So, Garrett, you get my power. Uh, Garrett, you have the ability. Hopefully, it's better than last week's. Wow. <laughs> you have the ability to rewind time exactly 2.5 seconds. So, not a lot. You can't do a lot. But you can do a, you can do stuff. Okay, yeah. When you think about it, two seconds can be a pretty levy amount of time. It's yeah. one, one quick Mississippi, action. two Mississippi. It's one. Yeah, action. I mean, let's say someone just do I regret slapping them. that person. Yeah, or like <laughs> let's say if you want to relive slapping them again and again, and then when you're done slapping the crap out of them twenty seven times, you rewind it to when you didn't do it, and then you just go about your life. But don't mess up because you know. Or uh, ooh, this could actually be bad. <laughs> this could be a bad power, Garrett. Garrett. Imagine who who's like your your favorite girl, like the crush Rosario Dawson. 
walks by. I mean, she's she's up there. I mean, who then? Who? Kristen Ritter. Kristen Ritter walks by. Jessica you. Jones. And you just walk up and you just give her a big old smackaroo. Just a smackaroo. And then you just rewind time. It didn't happen. But you know it happened. See, I don't... F- I feel two and a half seconds is not enough to see the reaction. So you don't know if you would have had your shot and they would have accepted well, it. Well, from what it's sounding like is that I can only rewind time in 2.5 increments. But there's no limit to how many times I can rewind. Exactly. Exactly. So I can I can keep going back further and further and further and further, just only in no, no, two point no, five increments. Just two point five seconds. So let's say if I said something that I could rewind to not have said it or say it or do something different. So you can only go back exactly two point five seconds. Okay. But two point five seconds you go back to you didn't you didn't kiss her. Then you kiss her again. Then two point five seconds you go back. You didn't kiss her. You kissed her again or whatever you want. Like. The, okay. The, the wow. limits are endless. So, well, the limits are literally I kissed her or I didn't. Yeah. It sounds uh, like but... when you rewind it, you have to, like, you, like that's your reason. There's a cooldown. Yeah. So, <laughs> gamer terms. I like but that. There's, there's other ways to use it. But Okay. I like how you went straight for the uh, evil well, already <laughs> well, on how, your own power. It, it is okay. Johnny. <laughs> that's how, how would you use it then? Um, when the you can't. Mm, uh, <laughs> yeah, not much I could do Johnny's there. evil outside the podcast. <laughs> uh, maybe you're, uh, does Jason ever turn evil for uh, a, a couple of? I think uh, there's an episode or somewhere Jason turns evil. Probably. I know Tommy turns evil. Tommy starts evil. Yeah. But uh, uh, anyway, all right. Okay. So that is my uh, superpower. Superpowers. You don't sorry. know how to use it. How are you gonna use it? I'll figure it out. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I really like that root beer. All right. No, drink it again. Since you were talking about Tommy being evil, did you see that uh, Power Rangers trailer? I didn't see the whole thing, thing, but it looks so cool. Uh, it's for a comic, though. Yeah, but that's the only thing. It was a cool trailer. It looks really it. cool. Yeah. Uh, Shattered Realities. Shattered? Is it Shattered Realities? The comic's pretty cool. I haven't, I'm not up to date, but I read the first arc. It's pretty sick. It looks cool. All right. So, finish? Yes. On to me. Uh, so, I also picked up Game Pass, <laughs> and uh, I've been playing a bit of Sea of Thieves. I, I really played a good chunk today. Uh, apparently I'm still going. <laughs> uh, pretty fun when you, when you get a, a group of people, uh, that kind of, uh, not necessarily know what they're doing, but you guys kind of have your, your stuff together. You know how to operate the boat and kind of maybe solve some, some, some riddles or quests. Uh, so that was fun. Yes, Johnny, along with Game Pass, I did download a couple of other games, including Shantae and the Pirate something. Curse. Thank you. Pretty fun. It's a pretty fun game. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be that fun. I just wanted to try something. This is my first Shantae game. <clears throat> and it's funny because while I'm booting it up, I'm like, I could really use a game that kind of just encaptures me and, and really makes me want to really dive into it. And I'm like, eh, we'll, we'll see what this is. So it starts off. It's pretty fun. It, it's a uh, side scrolling, you know, um, I guess hack and slash where you're just using your hair. <laughs> Uh, so it, it, it's, it's pretty fun. You, you level up, you, you can increase your, your, uh, hair attack as well as your hair attack speed. And it's funny. Uh, so I, I'm really looking forward to, uh, playing a lot more of that. It's kind of got a Metroidvania aspect to it, uh, where you can follow a map and you're kind of solving quests. My only couple of gripe about it so far is that for some puzzles that you have to do and not necessarily move block to wh- wh- wherever it has to go, but like solve the issue. This door is locked. Unlock it sometimes requires you to go way back to like a previous level. And it's like, how would I have ever guessed that? I literally went there because I had nowhere else to go. And I talked to the right person at the right time. It wasn't intuitive. Ex- exactly. I can see that. So th- that's my only kind of gripe about it. Still a very fun game. Um, still still gonna be playing it nice um believe that's really all i've been playing overwatch uh brigitta is out um is it brigitta it's brigitta okay uh she she says it when when you first boot up the game when when she's in it and a couple of voice lines uh but i believe it is brigitta she is pretty fun unfortunately i have not uh wrapped my head around how to properly use her um I- i'm just I'm-, I'm getting destroyed still when there's like a whole bunch of people fighting me i gotta remember that she's not a tank she's a semi-tank uh but she she cannot take a take a lot of hits so uh really fun to play overwatch shantae sea of thieves that is uh gonna be me for the foreseeable amount of time would you say that she's a semi-truck no <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> All right. So should him and I play rock, paper, scissors again to see who gets your power? No, because that would. No, I mean, you can still do your turn. You just don't get the power. Well, Josh. It... Oh, because like, if he gives yeah. you the power, then I don't get you give yourself. Power. You give. Oh, you give yourself the power, your no, own power. No, that, that wouldn't be fair to you, to <laughs> okay. you guys or myself. 
Joshua. So we have to keep it in rotation. <laughs> Joshua, your superpower. Why did you giggle when you said my name? That's I'm scared. Is that you can? Uh, are, are you are you are you a fan of chocolate? I can eat it. Good. It's pretty good. Good because that's all your body can digest is chocolate. <laughs> what? Why are you doing that? To him? You can only eat chocolate. That's literally all you you can crave that's all you crave and that's all your body can handle but when you but when you poop uh-huh. it comes out fresh chocolate oh, dude. so what so what you, hold on <laughs> let me get this straight so what you're saying is i can only eat chocolate but once i eat chocolate i digest and poop out chocolate fresh chocolate which, which you, means i have an unlimited supply of chocolate food once i start eating chocolate you're welcome that does it. I don't think he wants to thank you. How is this a power? <laughs> you can give people chocolate. Johnny, do you want my chocolate? No. Johnny doesn't okay. know. Johnny, okay. Johnny doesn't know. He it's going to be poop-shaped chocolate. It's not going to be poop-shaped. What, he, cho- what he poops gonna out chocolate bars? What am I going to do? Carve it into a bunny for Easter next week? Hey, it's, it's your power. <laughs> maybe wa- maybe they're Whoppers. Chocolate bricks. <laughs> Twix. No caramel in there. There is doing? now. Oh god! Every other week, I get something. Red- I never want Garrett's powers. This is, these are not powers. <laughs> these are curses. Unlimited <laughs> supply of chocolate. You can use that. Super along. curses. You can use that along with the the bag of holding that you have. <laughs> I can have. A, I can hold an unlimited supply of. Poop chocolate. Of chocolate. Just chocolate. It's chocolate. And then every time I burp, it's chocolate because I poop where I fart where I burp and I burp where I fart. <laughs> I think I got that power. No, I got no, that no, power. Joshua got that You power. are shafted him, man. I, I, why why you have a nice power for him? Why are you him? making this like terribly canon for me? Oh, gosh. I I'm so was, glad you lost that rock, paper, scissors game. It's chocolate, man. All right. How was your week? Like chocolate. <laughs> this week's not starting off great. <laughs> I would curse, but I would say my week is chocolate. All right. Hey. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Johnny just got it. <laughs> ah, I'm, I'm, st- I'm still like baffled by this. This is my bad. My throat hurts. This is bad. Bad. I got some chocolate for that. My, my throat hurts. This is bad radio. Um, okay. Uh, Jessica Jones episode three. You really are week. watching these weekly, huh? <laughs> yes. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> So, greatly and unfortunately, Dragon Ball Super has currently reached its end Let's as of right I, now. I, I'm trying to avoid spoilers, so so. It, it, it's if tough. you can hold off the next month, you could probably avoid it. Unless there's any tie-ins to, like, the game. Man, people are trying. Did Goku win or did Hit win? Um, I can't tell you because it's spoiler territory for Garrett. Uh, you have one week, Garrett. That's how, that's how much time <laughs> you give other people. On next week's podcast, I'm getting the answer. So, um... So the current saga is has ended. The movie's going to come out. It's slated for November, December. And then after the movie, they're going to resume Dragon Ball Super sometime maybe in the next year. So it's not the end of Super indefinitely. It's just... It's just this, tune in this, next time. This Yeah, this current arc in the storyline ended. And the last episode was pretty awesome. Nice, you have man. your climactic battle, which is about half the episode, and then the results thereof... For the back end of that episode. It was really well put together. And it wasn't really much of a twist, but a couple of sequences where you're like, that's cool. And that's more of uh, more tried and true to fans of the series. You're like, wow, that w- that's a good way to end it. So I enjoyed that. Uh, Tiff and I uh, went out with some friends. We had some Korean barbecue last night. Uh, so we got to see quite a few uh, people there. And so you, you got to do all the work, huh? You paid money to do all the work? <laughs> Pretty much. Yep, and uh, they order, bring order. you raw meat. They, they bring good luck. You raw meat. Don't die. Do it yourself. Well, it depends on how good your cooking skills are. But it was a good time. We had a lot of fun there. Uh, I haven't played anything this week. Get out. Uh, well, That's I, not a the game. game's That's not out yet. The, game, the game's not out yet. Uh, oh, and it's a movie too. <coughs> Is that a movie? Uh, I haven't seen that movie. Oh, oh, get out. Okay. No. I, I forgot Pacific Rim came out this weekend. Yeah, I was going to catch it, but uh, didn't have the time. Yeah, so uh, that'll be there next week. So that Well, next week's Ready Player One. Um, you ready to watch that, yeah. Joshua? I, I, I'm ready um, to watch it, Johnny. I'm, totally I'm ready. ready to have you, it, to ready have you read the audio book yet? I've, I've not oh, read the I thought the you were trying book. to do a pun off the title. No, no. no. I'm I'm apparently not allowed to watch it with Johnny until I, A, read the book or read the audio read the audio book. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'll read the book before I'm wet, but I asked Tiffany because she read the book. If we end up doing an episode about it, it, or did she she listen to it? Uh, she read it. Okay. If, she if, read if the book. She read the book. If we do a, I read the audio book. If we do a special episode on that, she says she's down to join us for that episode. Cool. If if we end up doing one, so all okay. Right. Yeah. And then you, then you have someone else to talk about who you know all the stuff that happened in the book. 
No, she probably knows more because she read the book. No, no, she doesn't. I read the book too. He did both, Garrett. You, you listened to the book. He listened and read, and the, read book. the book. Oh, you, okay. You, but you, even you if physically I read the pages? Yes. Okay. But even, All right. Johnny also read the book. But even if I hadn't, as the only person here who has both read a book and then listened to the audiobook, I'm the only one with the experience to say that it is almost quite literally the same thing. Almost. Yes. What do you are deal some... with like audiobooks, Yes, man? I know. Audiobooks are not books? Drink your Gatorade. If audiobooks are not books, then you watching someone... H2O. Stream, then you watching someone stream a game is not you playing the game. Absolutely it's not, not. It's not you playing the game. Absolutely not. I'm just saying you haven't played it. This this is why we said you're Kimberly. <laughs> <laughs> what? What else did you do, man? Is that it? I drank this strawberry Gatorade that tastes like random Jello. Well, Blah. you didn't have to grab it out of the fridge. I uh, know. All right, my guys, strawberry no, Gatorade that's, tastes that's, just fine. That's my week. Cool, man. Cool. I'm ready for my stupor power. Are you ready for your stupor power? It's it's not going to be chocolate. It out can't of the bum. be as bad as that. Yeah. I don't think I've given anything bad. No, you have great powers. Not not shying <laughs> away from Garrett, but Garrett, come on, dude. I, I, I thought it was nice. Uh, but why? why are you ruining people? Why can't you give them something that they would be interested in? Did you to think have? I was going to give you a limitless supply of chocolate? Garrett, do you want my chocolate? Would you, I would like some chocolate. Hold on. Yes, please. Would you <laughs> eat some of his chocolate if he... If he pooped, if I recycled it, if I recycled the chocolate, you would eat it because it's my power, and I know that it comes out fresh chocolate. Yes, you wouldn't eat chocolate. I would, I would love some chocolate. So, so if Johnny gave me that power, you wouldn't eat it. Well, I don't know. I, I, it's literally that, the same thing, right. but you said if, because if Johnny, I gave it. If Johnny says it's fresh chocolate when he bestowed the power upon you, yes, I would love some chocolate, Joshua. Johnny would bestow me fresh chocolate without it coming you, out of my Johnny mom. would find a way Hold to on. have some evil use for Hold it. Hold on, if you didn't, okay, because you didn't actually, let's say, let's say right now you're giving, let's, let's say, let's say you didn't give him the power. Let's just say he has the power and he walked up to you and he said, mm, uh, all right, here's chocolate. You wouldn't be like, mm, thank you. Well, no, okay. no. But, but <laughs> gotta eat luckily, it it's been clarified. Uh, the chocolate this is indeed the third, fresh. Okay, we've done this maybe five weeks. and three out of five weeks, I don't have a power. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have an ability that's garbage. <laughs> but I don't have a power. You have an ability that's uh, chocolate. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. that yeah, They're supposed to be stupid. Yeah, All yeah. Right, what's, no, what's my power? It's, it's it's just stupor. It's no power. It's just stupor. So Johnny, you have a little bit of a psychic ability. You have the ability to see slash read slash feel people's thoughts. At the same time, they can somehow realize that you're tapped into them. They can smack you with some psychic abilities back. So for example, if you read into Garrett's mind. And Garrett's thinking about something. Doesn't matter what it is. He's going to know that you read it. And if he wants to punch you in his mind, you're going to feel a I punch do. to the face. Oh, they can like psychically punch me? They can psychically do something back to you. If if they want to psychically, uh, they want to throw water at you, you just feel like you got water thrown at you. Okay, so they so it's a little bit of a you know catch-22 Psychic there. backlash. Yeah, but but they got to catch you in it. I don't know how you're going to do that. It's I'm more interested in how he's going to turn this to, to evil. evil power. <laughs> it's yeah. a villainy. Oh, I mean, easily. Like, I can... I can learn a lot of information. Maybe not from you commoners, but like people who have actual like secrets. Yeah, so man. Like if we keep this all canon, he's gonna realize someone caught him. They're gonna punch him psychically. All right. Let's and say, then he's gonna put poop in them. <laughs> let's say. Let's say you know so and so has been caught for embezz- embezzlement and fraud with uh you know accounts with you know some bank. For eight hundred million dollars, but they've only been able to recover thirty five million dollars in in uh you know the lost funds. The rest has been has been in Swiss accounts overseas. And here's the evil part. And here I come, like mm. <clears throat> he hits me, and I'm like, hey man, three seven three seven five four three two nine Swiss bank account eighty five sixty four thirty seven. <laughs> now let's make a deal. And I got a little, I got I got his money, man. I got your money, man. <laughs> evil man. Yeah. Yeah, he he did it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sum up. We're gonna have to think of a power that he can't turn to evil. Well, I mean, chocolate poo sounds pride. I, I don't know. Full it's already proof. It's already evil. It's so. Full proof. Yeah, and a limited supply of like you have the poop power throwing. to hug a teddy bear. <laughs> There we go. That's not a power, man. That's just if you give the someone power that power of love, here, Johnny. That's <sighs> the power of love. All right, guys. Well, that is our show. I believe. A good episode, a lot of fun. Hopefully, you enjoyed yourself. We always do. We always have a lot of fun making the episodes. Until with you I guys. get stupid power from Garrett. Yeah, until then. Um, <laughs> but hey, uh, if you if you love the show, if you're having a good time, guys, you can help the show out in one of a couple different ways. And I'll break it down in just about ten seconds here. Leave a review wherever you're listening. Drop that review. It helps people find us. Give us some stars, whatever. 
go to uh, our, our Patreon, guys. You can drop a couple bucks, whatever's on your heart, on your mind. Every buck or so, whatever you give, goes towards helping the show with content, going to shows, just doing bigger, better, more um, and, and just just creating better content. So we appreciate that. And lastly, tell some family, some friends about the podcast. Word of mouth is the biggest way that we grow. So if you know someone that loves pop culture, loves gaming uh, and just loves some of our, our chocolatey jokes, uh, you know, hit them up about the Super Co-op Squad. Um, other than that, guys, chat with us uh, by email contact at scspodcast.net. And on Twitter, you can reach us as a group at Super Co-op Squad. Also, individually, you can find me at Johnny Mac 24 And you can find me at GJL3275. You can me taking the chocolate dump, Joshua underscore four underscore life. A.K.A. Kimberly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we will uh-huh. see, you, see you next week. As always, I'm Johnny Mac. I'm Garrett. Pterodactyl! Pterodactyl! <laughs>